Hey guys, so I am dyeing my hair tonight. It's it's kind of brown now. I dyed it red like almost two months ago, I think. And this time I just want to dye the roots. They're coming in a little bit and I'm probably going to dye till about here red and then I kind of just want to mm, I'm going to blend it down I think and then I'm going to mix the rest of the dye with conditioner and just add it into the ends <sighs> so that it's like Kind of like reverse balayage, I guess. And yeah, so I'm gonna put like lotion or what's that stuff called? Um, well, I guess I'm just gonna put uh, this cocoa butter stuff around my forehead. And around the back of my neck so that I don't get dye on my face. Alright, sorry my video cut out. Um, so I put the stuff, as you can see, on my forehead and around my face. And now I'm just waiting. I did like a small patch test. So I'm waiting a few minutes for that to see if I'm allergic to it, which I shouldn't be. And then I have like all my stuff set up and I'm just gonna be using an old toothbrush to like go around the perimeter of my hair. And then I'm going to like section it down the middle and do my roots that way. And then just keep going in small sections all the way across my head and then I will flip my hair over and start from the back and go like across this way in small sections just doing my roots and like blending it down and then I will let that sit for like 20 minutes and then I'm going to like section some pieces probably like the bottom half I'm gonna make darker a little bit and then I'll section some pieces in that I want to be low lights. And I'll let that sit for like 10 minutes. And then I will add the rest of the dye into the conditioner and put that in my hair. So the rest of it is just kind of like a red tint. And then I will wash it up and I will see you guys then. Alright, so I thought I would just show you guys really quick what I've been doing. So, I already did this half of my head, and I'm working on what's left of this <sighs> section. So, I just have been taking my little dye bottle and placing a line right across the root, and then taking my toothbrush and just kind of like working that down into the hair and then oh okay going to section a piece just kind of like uh, gotta put you guys down for a second all right so i sectioned the piece then i'm gonna use my brush or my comb to just kind of comb the dye from the roots through 
the hair. So this way, it's going to be really, really blended from the roots down to the lighter area of my hair. Because I want, I don't know if you can see, but I have some highlights in my hair that have just started to fade through the red. And I kind of want to keep some of those, so yeah. I will update you in a bit. Alright, so I finished my hair and I'm just watching Nikita and like waiting for it to oh have that stuff all over my face. Um just kind of waiting for it to dye the last part of my hair. And I thought I would just kind of talk about like See, I got dye everywhere, like all over my shoulders. Which is shitty because I have a photo shoot in like a day. So, hopefully that wears off because that's not sexy. Um, anyways. So, there's like not good lighting in here. If you follow me on Tumblr or like Phoebe or Twitter maybe, you would know about my, why I quit my job. <sighs> it was really stressful and like, I'm not going to go into details on here because obviously my boss was crazy and I don't want him to like sue me or I don't know, get mad. So... I'm not going to go into details, but basically, kitty, come here, come here. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of transitioning from a time in my life where everything was really structured and I knew exactly what I was going to do and like I was just working for someone else all the time to an opportunity that I have now to just kind of like do all the things I've been saying I would do if I didn't have a job like oh I would travel but I have a job so I can't or like oh I would focus on my art but I'm so tired from my job or just like random shit you know like I don't have a job now and I'm not going to get another job because I don't want to be back where I was you know I just want to have fun Girls just want to have fun, huh, Kitty? So, yeah, it's been stressful because, like, it's just really overwhelming, you know? I can do anything I want, and I just get so, like, I have anxiety, so it's hard to pick one thing and not get stressed out. <laughs> but, yeah. Huh, Kitty? Hmm. Yeah, so, that's where I'm at. I'm not going to get another job. I'm just going to start this YouTube channel, which I've always wanted to do. And do my art, my photography, and snuggle this kitty. And maybe pet sit some. I want to travel. I know I'm going to be spending time in Oregon, so that's cool, and yeah, I just think it's like, it's a lot easier to do work when you're working for yourself, and like, yeah, I've been really lazy lately and <laughs> sleeping in until 10, but I've been staying up really late, like it's, I think it's 11 right now, and I just kind of started being productive, like, it's fine that I sleep in because I am just doing whatever I want to do now and that's what I want to do so yeah I'm gonna try to like stay focused on these videos I've been doing photo shoots and going out with friends a lot and I need to get my car 
Um, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. It's kind of weird, like... People are like, oh, you're, you're not looking for a new job? And it's like, no. I'm not looking for a new job. And people don't really understand, like... It's so much easier to just get a normal job, a conventional job, and, like, just kind of go with the flow and do what you're told and not have to think about things. But, like, I feel like it's going to be worth it to be kind of stressed out and uncomfortable for a little bit, you know, because I'm not being told what to do every second of the day. <sighs> Oh, I hope this is making sense. Like, this is just my personal opinion, like, and I know for most people it's not really, like, realistic to just quit your job and not do anything. Well, like, I'm doing things, but I'm not doing, like, <laughs> conventional things. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, what else? I quit my job. What are you doing? You are so weird. Ew. Don't throw up. Kitty. Okay, well, if you didn't eat paper. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm house sitting. <sighs> yeah. So that is what's happening with me. I look like a freaking crazy person. And no, I didn't do my makeup because I don't really care. Kitty! Stop it. Give me the paper! Give me the- <laughs> You're such a little monster! You're such a little monster! Yeah, I've been thinking about going back to school, but it's just like, that's another thing. Like, I don't, I don't know. I love being surrounded with creative people and like having someone who's like on your team and motivating you to like be the best person you can be and holding you accountable, but whoops. Then at the same time, it's like, this is something I learned when I, I dropped out of school. <laughs> when I dropped out of school a few months ago, well, like six months ago or something, and I got my photo job is like, there's not always going to be someone there telling you what to do or like, you can't just like email your teacher anytime you have a problem. You know, like, at my job, I had to figure shit out on my own and act like I knew things until I, like, actually knew them. And, you know, there's not always going to be someone there motivating you. And, honestly, like, is a degree even worth it? Like, I know the experiences are, but can't you get equal experiences out in, like, the real world? It's a tricky thing, especially with how expensive school is. Like, I don't, like, going to school full-time and, and working full-time just to make ends meet is, like, not a good situation. Especially when you already have, like, family issues and anxiety and all of this stuff. Like, it doesn't, it's almost a waste of money because you're not completely committed. So... I don't know, man. I just kind of feel like school for me right now would be like a crutch, you know? Like, just kind of an easy way out. Even though school isn't easy, like, I feel like it's hard to, again, like, not know what you're going to be doing. And to just kind of, like, figure out what you actually want to do. Because... I thought I wanted to be a photographer, and if I would have stayed, well, I do want to be a photographer, but, like, I thought I would be okay with any kind of photography, as long as I was doing photography, 
And when I actually got a real photo job, thank God it was before I was out of school because, like, I didn't like it. I didn't like answering to someone all the time and, like, having to do things that I didn't want to do and having to come up with processes for things. And, like, I'm not the kind of person who always does something the same thing, like, the same way every time. And just, it was too much structure for me. So now, now I know I want to work for myself for the rest of eternity. Or maybe, like, me and one other person or something. I don't know. But I don't want to work for a corporation or a startup that's not mine. Or anything like that, because, I don't know, I'm just too stubborn and I'd want to do things my way, and I can, <laughs> you know, like, I can do whatever I want and I'm going to be just fine, yeah, so that is kind of like a weird explanation of where I'm at right now. Dropped out of school, quit my job, doing whatever I want, including dyeing my hair red. So that's a thing. And yeah, this is going to be a really long video, but I also don't care. <gasps> You're going to get me, aren't you? Come here. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah. Anyways, that is that. Oh, I filmed a makeup tutorial the other day, but it's like kind of shitty. Cause like I have good lenses, but they're in manual focus and it's hard to do video of yourself when you have manual focus lenses. <laughs> like It's just hard. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I might upload it, I might not. I'll just do whatever I want to do. It seems to be like my my thing these days. So I'm gonna go wash the stuff out of my hair because it's probably been way too long. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow when it's all dry and I'll show you what it looks like. And yeah. Goodbye. Okay, so I know I said I would probably see you guys tomorrow, but I didn't feel like going to bed, and I also didn't feel like doing anything productive, so I just blow-dried my hair, and now I'm snuggling with the kitty who's falling down in between, <laughs> slowly falling. Hi, kitty. But you're quite happy about it, huh? You don't care. Yeah, so I'm snuggling with the kitty, and it looks like all my attempts to keep my highlights failed. Didn't matter. It's funny because, like, the stuff up here was in there for a half an hour, maybe, and the stuff at the ends was only there for ten minutes, and they look the same. So, I don't know what happened there. But, that's, that's okay, because I like it red. I'm sure it will fade, so. Uh, hi. Ow! Here. But don't claw me, you little stinker butt. No, ow! Oh. You're a monster. <sighs> yeah, I just wanted to like clarify. Don't. Oh, you're so mean to me, kitty. Um, I was kind of ranting earlier and I said like, I realized I contradicted myself and I said, at one time it's, I don't remember what I said, but what I meant was it's easy to work for yourself in the sense like 
you want to work hard and you want to get things done the right way because it's for you, right? And like everything you do, all of your efforts affect your outcome. Like, whereas when you're just working for a company, like, yeah, you care about your work and stuff, but to a point, you know, like, obviously you're going to put yourself first when like, worst comes to worst, whatever. So, in that sense, like, it's, it's easier to work for yourself because you want to do the work and stuff, which is, like, why I don't mind getting up anymore. Like, it's fine because it's for me. But, um, yeah. In a sense, it's also easier to work. She's so snuggly. It's also easier to work for, like, a company and just do a random job, like, you know, I wish I could just, say, be an accountant and just crunch numbers all day long and not have to feel things and not have to have this, like, need to create, you know, like, my life would be so easy. I wouldn't really care about, like, workplace politics or whatever. I would just clock in and clock out, and it would be simple, but that's not the kind of person I am, huh, Kitty? I have this, like, need to create and to, like, show people the beauty that I see, and I can't do that with other people hovering over me and asking me what I'm doing all day. Nope. So... Yeah, that's what I meant. I just, like, for some people it works, but for me it does not work. And I'm not going to do it anymore. <sighs> it looks brown on camera, but it's really red. I'll show you. Okay, no. Be nice. Be nice. Okay. You see? Yeah. So, yeah. Kitty, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated on my life and my little adventures. But yeah, I'll probably film again tomorrow because I like vlogging, even if you guys don't want to see my vlogs, too bad, <laughs> because, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool to, like, see documentation of your life, and also, I just want to vlog, so I'm going to vlog, <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go try to find something to eat now. And, and, and yeah, so goodbye. This is, this is the end of the vlog slash hair dyeing adventure. <sighs> Until tomorrow. Goodbye.